Hey everybody, so today I got a new gadget and I'm excited to unbox it and show you guys what I got here. I actually have a Geiger counter and this one is the GQ Electronics brand 500 plus model Geiger counter. Now if you're just getting into this and you're thinking about getting something like a Geiger counter, you're going to encounter a lot of different um, Geiger counters radiation style detectors out there and they vary on such a wide scale of low end really cheap you're talking like there are radiation detectors below or around a hundred dollars or so all the way up to several hundred to the thousands when you look at the more high-end geiger counter scintillators stuff like that so quite a range and equally quite a range of capabilities of these things so this one i would say is in the range of the the lower to mid price range i got this off of amazon for about 150 bucks right now so definitely mid to um, low price range but from my research supposed to still have some decent capabilities so i wanted to try it out and just um, play with this a little bit see how it works uh, without breaking the bank so here it is and i'm going to just pop this open today. It's, it's in this little sleeve here, but then the Geiger counter should be in this box. There it is. Nice. It comes in a little black canvasy pouch. So I like that. Um, this is going to be something I'd be carrying around with me in the field. Uh, so it's small, lightweight, and this little carrying case that it comes with. Uh, also in this box, is the cord so this is a usb cord really nice feature you can actually charge this via a usb cord so you could have with you you know whatever if you have a wall to plug into or even like a solar panel if you're in the field so that's a really nice feature uh, from the specs online it's supposed to have a lithium battery in here i know that so easy to charge and hopefully it holds a charge for a while and then it just comes with uh, it's kind of a quick start guide here and here. Let's just open it up and see what it looks like in here for now. Right out of the pouch. It's wrapped in a thick coating here. Keep it nice. Let's see. A little card for guidance. And a website. I know it has some mapping features as well. Um, it did have the ability to store data that you take I, I believe send it store it to a server I, my, I think it also has some internal storage as well I'm not as concerned about that for my purposes I'm just going to kind of be using it on the fly in the field uh, another feature of this one is this it has um, it actually has two Geiger Muller tubes here uh, and those are, should be the tubes right there um, and this particular Geiger counter is supposed to be useful for detecting beta, gamma, and x-ray radiation. Let's go ahead and turn it on. I'll show you what it's like. I believe you hold the button down. We'll see if it turns on. It did? Okay, it's got some charge to it. That's nice. Oh, there it is. And it says the battery is 100% charged. So... We don't always get that. That's I like that. It comes completely charged. It's already making a clicking sound. You can hear it there. So just some normal background radiation there. Um, something else that this one has, it does have the different units that you can set. So the main screen right now is showing the clicks per minute, but you can also do the milli ronchins and the milli sieverts there if you can see that hopefully try to see if the phone will focus on that so you can see the screen i believe you can light up the screen but i'll have to play with it and if i get that along the way here i'll show you let's see oh i see large font so when you hit this button here looks like it takes you to a menu large font is one thing i can select let's try it again can change the text put a graphing mode on so cool okay uh, i wonder oh there's the main menu is you get to the main menu with the same start button so that takes me to the main menu i can scroll down one scroll down one and there's display option there so that's what i'm going to do here there we go backlight timer backlight level 
I can change the backlight there. How do I turn the backlight on? I'm not sure yet. Level. Okay, so that's changing the level of the back. You can change the backlighting. Okay, so lots of different features in there to play with eventually. Um, let's get out of there now. I'll just show you. So here's a little better of a view of the display screen. Not sure. I know it's kind of darkening. I'm... There we go. So then you can see the units. Sorry it's a little blurry, but hopefully you get the idea there of the, uh, the units. And that's how the display works. You can also hear it clicking. Picking up a little background there, but nothing too crazy. So, all right, well, I will be playing with this, like I said, um, kind of fun, fairly lower price at range. The next, uh, th this company makes some other ones and there's other ones out there, um, but the next one up, uh, like this one does beta, gamma, um, x-ray. The next one up also does alpha and some, has some other advanced features. Um, but that is, I believe the model is 600 and that'll get you, you'll be looking at the $500 price range or more for that one. So, um, definitely going to be a lot more costly than this little guy here. So, appears to be working, so that's good news. Um, looks like it's going to be a fun little gadget, especially for the price range. Um, so I'm optimistic about uh, using this. I have some things in my collection. I've got some petrified wood and bone fragments and uh, minerals that I definitely want to test with this thing. So that'll be upcoming. Um, I'll, I'll, hopefully I'll show you guys that once I get all those things out and test it on that. Um, I'll also play around with it a little more, see if I can, you know, get the screen to, to light up and check out some of the other features. So. I'll do another update on this after I get to play with it for a little while. But for today, I just wanted to show you it and give you an idea if you are interested in a lower price range Geiger counter. Um, this might be a good one for you. And you got to just kind of see it, hear it. This is what it's like. And future updates coming. I'll see you guys next time for some more geology adventures. Bye.